I'm Taylor Moxie from Taylor the Chef, and I'm a young entrepreneur. Um, my name is Felicia, and we are here with the Code Fever Young Entrepreneur Spotlight. I'm here with Shawnee, and we are here with Taylor today, who is an amazing young entrepreneur that is cooking her way to success, essentially. So how's it going today, Taylor? Good. Good? Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Shawnee's going to ask you a few questions. She's also a young entrepreneur and blogger extraordinaire. And um, just to let our audience know and the students that we work with that we're trying to motivate to become entrepreneurs, a little bit about how, tell us how you got started. Um, I always wanted, um, I wanted a doll from Target. Uh -huh. And of course I went to my dad and asked him, would you please buy this for me? Uh -huh. um, and he said no in a nice way. And um, he said you have to make the money up yourself. Okay. So I said, can I make some cookies and brownies? And he said, sure. So we got the cookie dough and then the brownie mix and then I started baking. Um, and then I sold them to my church and made over $100 the first time I ever did it. Um, uh, I didn't get the toy, which was kind of sad. But I did get some business cards. Okay. I started off like that and it started to take me. Okay, so Tell us, how did you come up with a name for your company? Oh, uh, well, I like baking and I like uh -huh. cooking, of course, for my parents. So my, me and my dad were like, okay, let's call Taylor the Chef since your name is Taylor and you like chefs uh -huh. and you like baking. So I'm like, okay, so we'll call it Taylor the Chef. And then um, we put it on my business cards and it actually looks really cool. Okay, okay. Okay. How do you advertise your business? I post pictures on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest. Um, that's how I advertise my business by like I um, take pictures with my clients um, and then my dad or me and both of us also post them on Instagram and then um, that's where I mostly get my posts. Okay, okay. So tell me what um, what are your clients ordering from you these days? What's the most popular item? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? What kind of cupcakes though? Chocolate, velvet, uh -huh. vanilla. Mostly red velvet, but I like to call it sometimes orange velvet. Uh -huh. All the colors that I do, I just like calling them velvet because it's not orange. Yeah, okay, so okay. I just like calling them. Like if they say vanilla, I'm like, okay, I'll make you a white velvet. Uh -huh. So, and if they say orange cupcakes, I'm like, okay, I'll make you an orange velvet. Okay. It's easier for me to pronounce too. Okay, okay. So tell us, what is a day in the like, um, day like for Taylor the Chef? Uh, well, I get up very, 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 uh -huh. very early. Um, I start baking and I start getting in the kitchen, getting all my supplies. My dad, of course, has to help me carry this uh -huh. probably a hundred pound kitchen mixer. And then um, he goes and sits down and um, gets his coffee. It's his wake up call. Uh -huh. um, so that's what he does while I'm baking cupcakes uh -huh. or cookies or whatever I like making, which is easier for me. And I think cupcakes are the easiest okay. because I know the recipes by hand. Uh -huh. They're easier for me to do and um, they just sell more than most issues. Okay, okay, cool. So do you pay your, your parents now? Tell me, tell, how's that going on? They pay me. Oh, really? Nice. Yes. So then you get paid by your parents and also your clients. Exactly. That's like a double whammy. I wish I had it like that. I wish I had it like that. <laughs> I'm like, so the first time I ever gave them a cupcake or a cookie, uh -huh. which was from my Easy Big Oven, okay. I was like, do you have $3? Uh -huh. They're like, no. <laughs> so I was like, so I was like, oh, fine, I'll pay them. I mean, they aren't parents. Uh -huh. So I was like thinking for like a minute or so, I'm like, you don't have to pay $3. Can I have 10? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, maybe not. Uh -huh. But um, the next time they, I did it, they were like, okay, I'll pay you because I made like, a tea party. Yeah. And I made like an actual menu with okay. actual prices and actual food. Uh -huh. It was edible. And um, they really liked it. Okay. And so I was like, do you have $2? They're like, yes. So I was like, um, do you think I could get a uh, cup? 
a toy. Uh -huh. So I was like, they were like, okay. So we went down to Target. That was like our Sunday routine. We yeah. would wake up very, very early. And we would always go to Target. Uh -huh. And get what we, I want, like a toy or a dog. Okay. And um, that's where I took me. Okay. What's the one you make about your business? I make my boxes and I color them by hand. Oh, nice. I make my cupcakes from scratch. Mm -hmm. And I also make my icing from scratch. Okay. So are any two boxes alike or are they all different? Well, it just depends how many cupcakes you order. Okay. So let's say if you order 20, you get like a probably a medium sized box. Okay. Or if you order like 60, that's counting probably medium. Big, big box. Okay. Okay, cool. So tell us, what's the big plan for Taylor the Chef? Um, to expand my business to different places, especially uh -huh. to the Bahamas, to like Germany, okay. to Europe, to South America, I love all those it. other places that I could probably sell my cupcakes mm -hmm. and be really good at. Okay, okay, cool. Anything else? Yeah. Have you ever had a time down a customer? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so can you tell one one bit of advice for kids out there that are your age to how to start their business or why they should start a business? Well, one, um, to start the business, you always have to take it one step at a time. Okay. So let's say if you wanted to do um, a cooking business, uh -huh. you might have to get the ingredients, the recipes, the um, tools that you need. But if you want to be a mechanic or something mm -hmm. like that, you might need to get all the materials, like the wheels. You might have to know how to fix a car. Uh -huh. That comes in good handy. Okay. Um, and you might just not have to know, take baby steps. Okay. okay. And the second one, um, I would give you guys a piece of advice uh -huh. to never, ever say never because you can always do what you put your mind to. Okay. I believe it. I love it. Anything else? I don't think so. No? <laughs> All right, so last but not least, uh, can you share how our audience can find you and find your cupcakes? You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, page, uh -huh. Facebook, Insta uh, Pinterest, and um, YouTube. I also okay. have a YouTube channel. Um, if you look up Taylor Moxie, you can see Taylor Channel 10. Seth's two times. And you will also see how I got newspapers. Nice. And um, you can also see my YouTube. Okay, okay. So one more question, because I thought I was over, but you brought up a really good point. What What was the Today Show like? Because I know what the Today Show was like for me, but what was it like for you and everything else that came after that? It was so exciting. Uh -huh. I was like, when they said the Today Show, I was like, oh my God, I'm being proud of you. Uh, they were like, okay, it's Google Hangout. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. okay, so that makes more sense. But um, I got to see the lady from the Today Show. She's really mm -hmm. nice. She um, she's really fun. Uh -huh. She's really um, she's really generous and she's really calm. Okay. She's like, okay, now we're gonna do this. Uh -huh. But it was really fun being on the Today Show. Okay, okay, and it's been a little crazy after, since then, right? Yes. The crazy in a good way or a bad way? Good way. Good way. Okay, okay, <laughs> I love that. Perfect.